Last thing I'm going to go over is leads, and a lead is a potential customer. And you can access the leads by going to Sales Leads. So here you have them. And um, to create a new lead, you would go to New, Create New Lead Record. And here's all the information you have to enter. So there's a topic, just sort of like why are you going to considering adding this customer? Let's say um, so that's uh, one example of a reason maybe you would want to potentially add this lead, and then okay, you would have your name. And one of the other required fields is the company name. So this isn't, it's not like a, a lookup. So you don't have to actually enter a previously entered company. You can just enter a new company, basically. And once you have all the information you'd like for this lead filled out, you can then save it and it's stored as a lead but if you want now if you think okay well this is actually a good customer then you can actually qualify them and by doing that you can actually choose to convert it into an account and a contact or if you want you can disqualify it and none of that happens so right now I'm just gonna qualify it and turn it into Sam Smith into an account and a contact so the, in this case the account would be Sam Smith business and the contact would be Sam Smith so I would do this now press OK and now it's been converted. So if I go into accounts, I can now see there's the business and associated with it as the primary contact is Sam Smith, which is there. So one of the good things about leads is that um, it's not only can be can it be used as a way of deciding whether or not a customer should be added, but you can also just use it to really conveniently add a, an account and a contact at the same time. So those are leads.